Happy Wednesday, Throners. Today, we're going to speculate and get hype as Ice and Fire collide in the newly released Game of Thrones Season 8 Dragonstone teaser. So, let's jump into the video. The teaser starts off with the cold mist freezing everything in its path, and the symbolic representation of House Stark with the direwolf. It looks like their house words, winter is coming, are indeed coming true. Now that the Night King has breached a wall with his massive army, and now undead Mount Viserion, we can only assume that one of his targets on his mission, as he wages war against the side of the living, will be the North and Winterfell. Now an argument can be made that he should fly directly to King's Landing or the God's Eye, as the magic of the wall no longer imprisons him in the lands of Always Winter. However, in the finale of Season 7, in this overhead shot, the army of the dead takes on the form of what I believe to be the sigil of House Stark the head of a direwolf. This is incredibly intriguing and begs the question of, is the Night King an ancient member of House Stark, and does he have unfinished business with the Wardens of the North? Personally, I believe he will head to Castle Black and decimate what remains of the Night's Watch before he heads to Last Hearth and Carhold. I think this would be an incredibly impactful way to start Season 8 if the Night King ends up killing the young and newly installed heads of House Umber and Karstark before we get the epic Battle of Winterfell in Episode 3 of Season 8. I think starting off the trailer with symbolism rooted in ice is also important, as in the very first episode of Game of Thrones, we venture beyond the wall with Waymar Royce and his Night's Watch brothers in the very first scene. Now. Does this mean that the Night King will destroy most of the North and Winterfell? That's a definite possibility. And I can't help but think that House Reed will come to the aid of House Stark in Season 8, even though we have little to no evidence that Mira Reed or Howland Reed will make an appearance in Game of Thrones Season 8. Next, we see the ice has encroached past the neck and affects what looks to be like the Riverlands, Central Westeros, including the coastal areas, and Dragonstone. And not only that, we see that the ice has also frozen the dragon, taking another victim. Is this foreshadowing that another one of Daenerys Targaryen's children will die in the battle for Dawn? Perhaps it is. We know that Dragonstone is incredibly important to the endgame of the Song of Ice and Fire in Game of Thrones. Not only does it have large deposits of dragonglass, but also a wealth of information left behind by the children of the forest depicted within its walls with their symbols and drawings as we found out last season. In my most recent theory video, I discussed the importance of these symbols that date back to the very first episode of the series, and how it all relates to the God's Eye and the Night King. So perhaps someone like Samuel Tarly visits Dragonstone, or Bran visits through a vision, trying to decipher the meaning of their ancient drawings and symbols. The dragons have to be a major factor in the war for Dawn against the Night King and his army, since he can continually add more dead to its ranks. And last season, we saw the impact the dragons can make when it comes to dealing with the army of the dead when Daenerys Targaryen goes to rescue Jon Snow and the others beyond the wall. But the symbolism of another dragon being frozen suggests grim circumstances for the side of the living in Game of Thrones Season 8. Next, we see the sigil of House Lannister the Lion being engulfed by flames. Perhaps this foreshadows a grim fate for Tyrion, Jaime, and Cersei by fire. I can certainly see not only dragons, but wildfire play a huge role if the Night King and the Army of the Dead reach King's Landing. And if Cersei is really pregnant, I believe that she will lose that child, leading her to spiral down into madness, much like Mad King Aerys Targaryen. And she already blew up the Sept of Baelor, so perhaps we haven't yet seen the worst of Cersei's actions. They did a really good job in this trailer teasing the type of atmosphere we can expect in Game of Thrones Season 8. And we can't forget that the original title of the series is A Song of Ice and Fire. I've always thought that Westeros would experience a Ragnarok-like ending. After all, Ragnarok is the colliding of ice and fire in the world of gods and men. I'm also very interested to see if Melisandre returns with a bunch of red priests from Essos. We know that she believes that Jon Snow and Daenerys have a role to play in the Endgame, and her intentions thus far have been to make sure that the forces of fire unite to fight against the Great Other and the Long Night. And then in the final scene, we have an extremely intriguing moment where ice and fire meet near the Trident and the God's Eye, and create what looks to be like a wall of dragonglass. So perhaps they will include these areas for the final season and the final battle. Is a collision of ice and fire how Dragonglass is created? And will Westeros be separated after the final battle has finished by a giant wall of Dragonglass? 
Perhaps Bran will go back to view the first Long Night or to view how the original wall was built. And this will give us more clues and insights into this symbolism. Either way, it looks like there is going to be a massive coming together of these two forces, and Westeros and its people will be completely changed. And although we didn't get any new footage, I thought the teaser was beautifully put together, evoking what I'm most excited for about Game of Thrones Season 8, the final battle of Ice and Fire. But what did you think? Did this trailer get you hype? Did you think it was lacking in the symbolism department? Do you think they gave us some clues to what may happen in the final battle? Let me know your theories and thoughts in the comment section and join the discussion. I will also be doing a video on the collision course of Ice and Fire and we'll be revisiting my Ragnarok and Westeros series this weekend or early next week, so look out for that video. But in the meantime, if you haven't checked out my most recent theory video on the importance of the God's Eye and the symbols of the Children of the Forest and the White Walkers leave, feel free to go check that out. A big thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon who continue to make these videos and what I do on the channel possible. Thanks for watching. Hype and love.